Well, hello and welcome to this service of morning prayer. I am the potter, you are the clay. I designed you before the foundation of the world. I arranged the events of each day to form you into the preconceived pattern. My everlasting love is at work in every event of your life. On some days your will and mine flow smoothly together. You tend to feel in control of your life when our wills are in harmony. On other days you feel as if you are swimming upstream against the current of my purposes. When that happens, stop and seek my face. The opposition you feel may be from me, or it may be from the evil one. Talk with me about what you are experiencing. Let my spirit guide you through treacherous waters. As you move through the turbulent stream with me, let circumstances mould you into the one I desire you to be. Say yes to your potter as you go through this day. Words from Jesus Calling O Lord, open our lips, and our mouth shall proclaim your praise. God, be gracious to us and bless us and make his face to shine upon us, that your way may be known through upon the earth, your saving power among the nations. Let the peoples praise you, O God, let all the peoples praise you. O let the nations rejoice and be glad, for you will judge the peoples righteously and govern the nations upon earth. Let the peoples praise you, O God, let all the peoples praise you. Then shall the earth bring forth her increase, and God, our own God, will bless us. God will bless us, and all the ends of the earth shall honour him. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be for ever. Amen. The night has passed, and the day lies open before us. So let us pray with one heart and mind. As we rejoice in the gift of this new day, so may the light of your presence, O God, set our hearts on fire with love for you, now and forever. Amen. And so this morning's psalm is Psalm 88. O Lord God of my salvation, I have cried day and night before you. Let my prayer come into your presence, Incline your ear to my cry. For my soul is full of troubles, my life draws near to the land of death. I am counted as one gone down to the pit, I am like one that has no strength. Lost among the dead like the slain who lie in the grave, whom you remember no more for they are cut off from your hand. You have laid me in the lowest pit, in the place of darkness in the abyss. Your anger lies heavy upon me, and you have afflicted me with all your waves. You have put my friends far from me, and made me to be abhorred by them. I am so fast in prison that I cannot get free. My eyes fail from all my trouble. Lord, I have called daily upon you. I have stretched out my hands to you. Do you work wonders for the dead? Will the shades stand up and praise you? Shall your loving kindness be declared in the grave? your faithfulness in the land of destruction? Shall your wonders be known in the dark, or your righteous deeds in the land where all is forgotten? But as for me, O Lord, I will cry to you. Early in the morning my prayer shall come before you. Lord, why have you rejected my soul? Why have you hidden your face from me? I have been wretched and at the point of death from my youth. I suffer your terrors and am seen no more. Your wrath sweeps over me. Your horrors come to destroy me. All day long they come about me like water. They close me on every side. Lover and friend have you put far from me and hid my companions out of my sight. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and shall be for ever. Amen. And so our first reading this morning takes up from yesterday's, from Genesis chapter 43. Now the famine was severe in the land, 
And it came to pass, when they had eaten up all the grain, when they had brought from Egypt, that their father said to them, Go back and buy us a little more food. But Judah spoke to him, saying, The man solemnly warned us, saying, You shall not see my face again, unless your brother is with you. If you send our brother with us, will we go down and buy food? But if you will not send him, we will not go down. For the man said to us, You shall not see my face until your brother is with you. And Israel said, Why did you deal so wrongfully with me, as to tell the man that you had another brother? But they said the man asked us pointedly about ourselves and our family, saying, Is your father still alive? Have you another brother? And we told him according to these words. Could we possibly have known that he would say, Bring your brother down? Then Judah said to Israel his father, Send the lad with me, and we will arise and go. And we may live and not die, both we and you and also our little ones. I myself will be surety for him, from my hand you shall require him. If I do not bring him back to you and set him before you, then let me bear the blame for ever. For if we had not lingered, surely by now we would have returned this second time. And their father Israel said to them, If it must be so, then do this. Take some of the best fruits of the land in your vessels, and carry down a present for the man, a little balm, a little honey, spices and myrrh, pistachio nuts and almonds. Take double money in your hand, and take back in your hand the money that was returned in the mouth of your sacks. Perhaps it was oversight. Take your brother also, arise and go to the man. And may God Almighty give you mercy before that man, that he may release your brother and Benjamin. For I am bereaved, I am bereaved. So the men took that present and Benjamin, and they took double money in their hand. They arose and went down to Egypt, and there they stood before Joseph. Behold, God is my salvation. I will trust and not be afraid. For the Lord God is my strength and my song and has become my salvation. With joy you will draw water from the four wells of salvation. On that day you will say, give thanks to the Lord, call upon his name. Make known his deeds among the nations, proclaim that his name is exalted. Sing God's praises who has triumphed gloriously. Let this be known in all the world. Shout and sing for joy, you that dwell in Zion, for great in your midst is the Holy One of Israel. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be for ever. Amen. Our second reading is taken from John's Gospel, chapter 15. I am the vine, my Father is the vine dresser. Every branch in me that does not bear fruit, he takes away. And every branch that bears fruit he prunes, that it may bear more fruit. You are already clean because of the word which I have spoken to you. Abide in me, and I in you. As the branch cannot bear fruit of itself unless it abides in the vine, neither can you unless you abide in me. I am the vine, you are the branches. Those who abide in me, and I in them, bear much fruit, for without me they can do nothing. If anyone does not abide in me, they will be cast out as a branch that is withered, and they gather them and throw them into the fire, and they are burned. But if you abide in me, and my words abide in you, you will ask what you desire, and it shall be done for you. By this my Father is glorified, that you bear much fruit, so that you will be my disciples. As the Father loved me, I also have loved you. Abide in my love. If you keep my commandments, you will abide in my love, just as I have kept my Father's commandments and abide in his love. These things I have spoken to you, that my joy may remain in you, and that your joy may be full. This is my commandment, that you love one another as I have loved you. Greater love has no one than this, than to lay down one's life for their friends. You are my friends if you do whatever I command you. For no longer do I call you servants, for a servant does not know what his master is doing. But I have called you friends, 
for all things that I heard from my Father I have made known to you. You did not choose me, but I chose you and appointed you that you should go and bear fruit, and that your fruit should remain, that whatever you ask the Father in my name he may give you. These things I command you, that you love one another. Fear not, for I have redeemed you. I have called you by name, you are mine. Fear not, for I have redeemed you. I have called you by name, you are mine. When you pass through the waters, I will be with you. When you pass through fire, you shall not be burned. For I have called you by name, and you are mine. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Fear not, for I have redeemed you. I have called you by name. You are mine. And we say together the words of the Benedictus. Blessed be the Lord, the God of Israel, who has come to his people and set them free. He has raised up for us a mighty Saviour, born of the house of his servant David. Through his holy prophets, God promised of old to save us from our enemies, from the hands of all that hate us, to show mercy to our ancestors and to remember his holy covenant. This was the oath God swore to our father Abraham to set us free from the hands of our enemies, free to worship him without fear, holy and righteous in his sight all the days of our life. And you, child, shall be called the prophet of the Most High, for you will go before the Lord to prepare his way, to give his people knowledge of salvation by the forgiveness of all their sins. In the tender compassion of our God, the dawn from on high shall break upon us, to shine on those who dwell in darkness and the shadow of death, and to guide our feet into the way of peace. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be for ever. Amen. So let us pray. In the wonders of your creation, from the tiny mustard seed to the great oak tree, from the subatomic particle to the vast galaxies in seemingly infinite space, in all that you have provided there is order, purpose and meaning, even when we can't see it. We who are a small part of so much come before you this morning, Lord, to ask for those things that puzzle us or seem beyond our control. For those things which concern us and even frighten us. We come because Jesus has said that we may, and we ask because he showed us that you are a God of love and compassion and will listen to us. And so we pray for this your world, for its peoples with all their questions, their concerns and their needs. We pray for your church here in Sanderstead and Riddlesdale and all those places represented by those who are praying with us. Gracious God, in a time in which so many seek direction, we pray that you would inspire the hearts and minds of all your people, that we might teach and guard the faith which has held fast the lives of generations before us. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Lord, we pray for your world, through the power of the media we glimpse daily not only its violence, disaster and shallowness, but also the power of love, of compassion, prayer and worship. You have placed the care of this world in our own hands, and so we pray for a tireless striving for peace between nations, a common realisation of the dangers posed by climate change, and a sharing in the burden support the poor and underdeveloped places. We remember and pray for the charities that are involved in bringing aid, order and relief. And we pray that through their workers' times and talents, they may be seen as the hands of Christ at work in our very midst. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Father, we pray for all in our own communities 
our families, our friends and our neighbours. We remember especially and pray for those who fear for the future, through financial worries, through unemployment and through sickness. And we ask that all these concerns may be brought to your Son, Jesus, that he can offer us the real hope on which shattered lives can always be rebuilt. We think of those in most need in our own community, the elderly, the vulnerable, those in care homes, hospitals and hospices, and for the work and devotion of carers whose skill and compassion bring both material and spiritual comfort at times of need. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. And in a time of quietness, let's bring before God our own prayers for those we love. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. O God, the author of peace and lover of concord, to know you is eternal life, to serve you is perfect freedom. Defend us, your servants, from all assaults of our enemies, that we, surely trusting in your defence, may not fear the power of any adversaries. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. And so let us pray with confidence as our Saviour has taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory, for ever and ever. Amen. The Lord bless us and preserve us from all evil and keep us in eternal life. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God.